You got grits again? You be loving your grits, bro. Oh, dude. What do you mean? We're making sure we stay on our digestive health here with digestive enzymes. Two of utilizes from Huge Code Ant, and we have a betanine in here, which helps with stomach acid. That looks good. That, that looks fucking insane, Jada. Oh, yeah. The holiday sauce good? Oh, yeah, big time. Oh, my God, the biscuit's so soft. That's that Taylor ham, except we call it pork roll. Wow. Got a mega white omelet. Thank you. Side fairs. Side gravy. A lot. And I'll be right back with the rest of all stuff. Thank you, man. Bro, that's just straight gravy? For the biscuits, I don't know. Oh, it looks good. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> when in Charleston, get some vicious biscuits. Yes. You got some, uh, Thank you. <laughs> this is life post show. How does it feel? Amazing. <laughs> fucking amazing, dude. Allie? I'm loving it. The feta cheese is amazing. Anthony clearly is loving it. Look at all of the eggs in his hand. I don't care. pretty cool is this a show day video no oh so we checked the scorecard of classic physique let's take a look here so every class is pretty clean with their decisions 5 10 15 20 30 35 mine it was i was a one it was a one judge decision seven nine between first and second everyone else 5 10 15 20 25 30 5 10 15 25 30 mine was the only class so that's awesome dude i was i was close to i didn't it didn't go first but i was close I was the only class to do that, so. Cut on the back. <laughs> that guy won open body, the bodybuilding overall, too. I know. So that's like a. Yeah. I don't know who Mike Charles is, but apparently he beat Mike Charles before. He did. Mike Charles was like a good. He's a good bodybuilder out of Jersey. I know the Kyle's name. Friend. Dude, so how's the food? Fucking amazing, dude. The food's amazing. Yeah? What was yeah. your favorite one? The biscuits in general were amazing. Um, plain and with the egg. But I got to give it to the chicken tenders, dude. Those chicken tenders were soft, Tender. juicy tender crispy phenomenal we love charleston but we're about to meet up with um one of my old high school crushes chelsea <laughs> <laughs> i love chelsea i don't know yeah she yeah. lives down here now um and it's actually really cool she's gonna come out hang out with us and um hi. show us on charleston so nice to see you guys welcome hi how are you guys hi yeah. yes love it's it. great it's amazing Good. you graduated yeah congratulations yeah thank you yeah yeah charlie you fit charleston we've been down here for two days yeah and we've seen colors, everyone like the colors yeah. the the yeah. bubbliness the everything yeah. you fit charleston I love it here I anthony like wore all black last night and stuck out oh yep. yeah. yeah everyone's like in their dresses and dresses <laughs> colors sundress it's like yeah. yeah so i wore a lighter color today i worked hard to grow them has evidently been a five-year quest full of bountiful experiences that I think are priceless in this game of life. This journey has provided you with an important lesson that I feel many in this world can relate to, and so I'll do my best to summarize it for anyone that is pursuing a goal for years on end. Like anyone, myself included, from time to time, even with having countless evidence that you're on the right track, you'll be tempted and doubts will creep in. You'll question everything about yourself and what you're doing. You'll go periods of time without success. Things will appear to be falling apart. This, however, is a crucial part of the process. One many choose to turn away from, indeed, far more fundamental than what you do is who you become while doing it. Growing in consciousness and progressing as a human being is intended to challenge you to the core. Most people take the path of least resistance, and this is not the path to success. I remind you that living your dreams is not a cheap experience. It is supposed to require some effort something from the depths of your soul. And as I allude to a few days ago, sometimes going through uncharted territory is the final step. To become at ease with uncertainty is one of the most difficult things a human can be faced with. And in the end, this chapter closes just as we set out to. The ups and downs, the wins and losses, can't say I draw it up any other way if I'm being honest. Growing as a person, accomplishing some cool shit along the way is more than I could ever wish for someone to experience. Proud of you some, but never satisfied. Holy shit. Why is Kyle so good at literacy? He is awesome. Thank you so much, Kyle, dude. 
Couldn't have done without you. I gotta write something nice so I can't like the photo yet. I gotta think of something nice first so I could write. <laughs> I'll like it later. Holy shit. I love you, Kyle. What do you wanna do, Grant? I wanna go hijack that ship. Carnival Sunshine, it's ours now. I, I see what we can do instead is we take a cruise together and record it for the YouTube. All right, we could do that after we go take that ship to the Seven Seas. You know how much security a billion dollar company has, Grant? Not enough to stop us. <laughs> if you say so, you take you to the lead, I'll follow your path, I'll record. Go ahead. Go ahead, walk first. I'm not having fucking huge wrecked. Oh, it's huge wrecked, okay. Oh, wrecked and rage. Yo, yo. First. I'm Ant from fucking 2022 right now. <laughs> tell him, tell him what it is, dude. Give him the deeds. Tell him what it is. Tell him what it is. Come on, Big Al. Come on. Come on, Big Al. This is Big fucking Al. All right? Damn straight. Damn right. Damn I'm right. Big fucking Al. Oh, shit. Person on my channel. Your grandparents aren't going to look that <laughs> They're not, but you tell don't them. care right now. I didn't go pro this weekend. Totally fine. I look great, but you want to know what? What? I'm going pro next time. Yes, you are. And I'm going to be a competitive fucking pro. Oh, what? Shit. And I'm going to shut some people up. I'm not going to say who I'm going to shut up, but I'm going to shut some people the fuck up. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Same. So I'm going to take some wrecked. <laughs> get out of here. So this is the first video back after turning pro. Listen, we got some ideas coming up. I don't know if this is a filler video or this is going to be straight into the fucking series. New series. The new series. You know what? This is going to be a filler video mm -hmm. because the next episode will be the start. Mm -hmm of the series, which I'll start spoiling it now. The Get Huge With Me series. So I thought it was kind of convenient signing with huge supplements and obviously after the show, I'm not just gonna turn into a Pillsbury Doughboy and just eat away my life. I'm gonna eat away my life with a bunch of good surplus food. That's why I got, hang on. Oh no. <laughs> Raw fucking milk. Oh no. Chicken, we got rice, sweet potato, we got all the foods. Three ingredient white bread. Yeah, we're stocked up to put ourselves in a great reverse, yeah, to grow. Potatoes. Of course I got potatoes, Grant. Sorry, but listen, the, the theory behind this is after my last time, just like how Ali is right now, when I got third in my last national show, I was pissed. I went from 188 to 222 in eight weeks. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison of that transformation. So I'm looking to do the same thing this time around. Now as a pro, I gotta get a pro level physique. I am pro level, I am a pro now. But we have to become competitive, which is gonna take years, but we're gonna optimize this reverse to pack on some solid tissue right now. So we're gonna start the Get Huge With Me series and I want you guys to participate as well. So we're gonna probably set up a Discord or some type of group so you guys can get in this. I'm gonna do some in the, the Instagram mm -hmm. group as well. Yep. But basically it's gonna be a fuck ton of food. We're gonna start at six meals a day, try to work our way up to eight. The goal is to get a better reverse than I did last time. I put on, what was it, 188 to 222 is what, 34 pounds? Mm -hmm. I'm 205. If I could put on 34 pounds, it means 2 fucking 40, dude. I've always wanted to be 240. If I could <laughs> be 240 in 10 weeks from now, 240 fasted. <laughs> 240 fucking fasted is awesome. So that's the goal we're setting out for ourselves. We are going to just get huge. What is this? That is out of a fucking laboratory. Well, that is right, Grant, because it is actually a sample. Four servings. Does four servings mean half servings? Dude, he's bad. This hat don't look too bad on me, does it? I mean, no. I like it. It's not awful. There's other, there's been hats. There's been there. worse, ready? I'll make it worse right now. No, no. What about this, so ready? <clears> hey, <throat> versus. Hey. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I'm going golfing, guys. I drive my dad's Mercedes. Now this is like frat. Dude, I just like drink a bunch of beer, I'm going golfing and like gambling tonight. Now this is like, hey guys, I'm Anthony Mattello, I'm an IP pro, and I'm out at arms. I like the third one the best. We'll do this one. Does it actually, like, does the back look stupid? I have such a big fucking head that it doesn't, like, hat's just like. Oh no, it doesn't look. It looks fine? Yeah. Arm day fit with the slides. I don't know, bro. It's fucking arms. What else? Bro wins from, a dude? pro card and loses gives his up. mind. Gives up. Dude, check out my girlfriend's skin on her rear del. Do you see that move? Like, That's just thin, it's bro. so thin. There's no water for a female, bro. Females, you guys get like your periods and shit too. You guys got different hormones than men. Hey, you look like a 
It's too sucked down to your head. <laughs> no, I can't wear a fucking hat. I have such a big fucking head. No, you can make a hat work. This isn't the right hat. It's like a, you know, like a flat brim hat. It's a sash hat. Sash hat. It's just, I was trying to say sash. But here's the thing. There's like three inches of fucking right. air. Right. That's that's fine. But when you suck it down to your head, it looks worse. This looks better than whatever you just Does it? It's better than whatever you just had. Here. Hey, cool. I don't know what I want to do. I want to do a tricep thing, I think. 20 inch pipe still. Imagine, bro. Imagine, like, legitimately, that just fucking happens. Like, out of nowhere. 20 inch arms. Just stupid. Make it happen. Yeah. This is what starts happening. Huh? This is what starts happening. And like you still got the dryness and shit, and then you just, then you fucking example. I do, I am so bad at grammar. That's fine. What's the word I'm looking Not example. I'm, the word I'm thinking is exemplifies, but I know that's not a word. Exemplified. So, exemplifies. Thank you both. Exemplifies over time. It's fucking <laughs> crazier. And 240 is going to happen in like 10 weeks. Damn. All right. Let's see, man. So you're six weeks out. Yeah. All right, let's get an assessment. All right, so we got Mike here. He's a local at my gym. He's competing in six weeks against the Trend Twins at Garden States. I'll be there. I'm going to help him out with some posing right now. So we're going to take an assessment on how he poses at the moment, and he'll go through some tweaks. Hit this quarter turn. All right, front double. Side cuts. Back to the bicep. Side and thigh. Lower back ball. Cramp. Legs. 
You're like a bit lopsided and locked up. All right, hit your legs first. Remember, come on, take your legs how you would. So what I would tell you to do is when I hit this, right? Externally rotating, right? So now your quads are activated. And then what you want to do is you want to pretend like you're sitting down. Like you see, so if I just, I can activate them and then I sit down a bit. Just like sit down like you're in a chair. You push your hips back. Perfect. Now, on your top portion, basically your ass is back, right? So you're wasting away from the judges. And you want to flare your lats and keep your chest high. Start with just that and much better. This shoulder's a little elevated for you. There you go. Bring that down. Cool. Now, you're breathing through your abs. That's not what you want to do on stage. You want to breathe through your chest. So find out what you're going to do with your abs. If you're going to hold it, what I like to do is a half vacuum. This is how I hold my abs the whole time. And they just stay. I'm breathing slow breaths with my chest. Try to figure out what you're doing with your abs, but you got the, you got pulled that part down. Let's hear about the stomach. Shoulder. Always relax this side. This side's always locked up on Much better. All right. So to start with your feet, when you hit a quarter turn, whatever quarter turn side you're doing, you basically want to have this adductor, the front adductor, huh? squish into this other leg. And you want it a little bit ahead of this foot, a little bit ahead of that foot. A little bit more. Now you got your legs down. Then when you're here, flex your glute. I can't see it, but I'm assuming it's flexed. <laughs> so now when you do this, right, you want to blow out all your air and crunch down your obliques while turning. So basically keep, oh, keep your face that way. Blow it all that out, air. That's much better. But keep that leg locked. Keep that front knee locked. Perfect. Mm -hmm. It's better than what it was. Yeah. I'm sure people want to see me posing right now, so I'll pose. All right, so I'm hitting this, right? I'm pushing that add up to my glutes flexed. Air is out. And I'm turning. Obliques. I'm trying to turn as much as possible. It's kind of like a clunk, but trying to get this last spot. Yeah. It's almost like you're kind of like leaning forward. Exactly. Forward. So give it a shot. Abs. You got the abs. You're not breathing in. You're not holding your air. You're breathless right now. Now flex your oblique. This oblique. Good. Oh, way back. That's it. You're uncomfortable on stage, man. You're not holding your breath. I mean, you're holding your breath with an exhale, not an inhale. Cool. That was much better. Yeah, that one not blocked down, you think? Yeah, better than now, yeah. All right, now sure. turn to the back. So with this one, funny enough, before you did the pose, when you did your back double, let your legs were really good. When you hit this originally, um, you know, the rear relaxed, you were too narrow. So spread your feet out a little bit so your adductors still touch and you're externally rotating. There you go. No, no, keep it leveled out. Sorry, there you go. Hamstrings look good. I think that's much better than you have. Yeah, look at the side. Because adductors are touching. You still have six feet out, but your hamstrings are popping now. More condition to be really solid post here. You have that one not locked down, I would say. Flex your oblique air out. That's not. A, if, is that is this your good turning side? Is this is the worst side. Yeah. yeah. It looks pretty good. One thing you can see here on public is you're leaning back like this. Yeah. You want to be leaning forward so you get that lat to pop out. So try it again. We're just trying to get that far lat out. This is the this is the side that's gonna need the most work. Yeah, that's all right. That's okay. Let's figure your front double. So front double, same thing as the front relax with your legs. Keep them nice and wide so your adductors are touching. Hips back. Figure out what you're gonna do with your abs. You can either do standing up nice and tall if your abs look good. Show me what you got. Ass backward. Like literally, when you see people in the front double, they're like this, bro. Yeah. So give that a shot. Sorry, I know you're cramping and shit. There you go. Your elbows are forward, biceps are flexed. There you go. That's pretty solid. Mm -hmm. Not too shy. Can you hit it back or no? No. <laughs> side chest. All right, so let's start from the ground up. So with your side chest with your feet, it's not terrible, but you can get your hands to pop out more. You're dragging your foot, which is great, but then you just got to bend this a bit and like sink into it. See, if you're like here, hamstring, look, it's there. Once you sink into it, it kind of pops yeah. out more. And you push that far knee into that hamstring and it makes it mount. Cool. From before. Mm -hmm. For sure. If you can, try to get that far bicep into your body. And uh, get back where it was. Yeah, my, uh, I have like long arms. Yeah. And they just naturally really blow out. Oh, wow. No. Put, really put your left elbow higher. There you go. Nice and tall. Good. Solid. Good. So we'll put close to you. All right, I'm done. I'm done with the Yeah, that's solid. That that pose you have locked down for sure. That's a good class too. Sorry, 
Or try? Yeah, nice to meet you. I got a military tie set. <laughs> What does that mean? It's just like, there's just meat there. It's just solid meat and nice dough. It's great. All right, so like, I would say it looks really good. Like your tricep and shoulder, it looks really good. Your legs are just awkwardly uncomfortable. Yeah. So when, like with, with classic guys, when they're on stage, like the amount of golden art guys, they were like, they have like this twist to their hips. Yeah. Instead of just like all like narrow, like have like a twist and hit your shot. So if you can do that, put your, right there. Right, so your tricep look. Axe. Right. You gotta get on that toe. It's all about the angles here. That's tough, dude. Oh, it's all right. Men's physique guys are so good. When you see them on stage, like they hit their front pose, they're like, they're like this, right? Yeah. That's the same thing with classic. If you're hitting a pose, you gotta add these like angles to you. Yeah. You know? That's pretty sick. That, would, that looked really good. So, thank you. So, yeah. that's about the 10. You look pretty good, man. 60 That's out, right. right. Yeah. Keep at it. Thanks, dude. What, what? It's Chad. Yeah, bro, of course. All right, you gotta go home, put some soup in the oven, fucking eat. <laughs>